Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for, the launch and hopefully landing of the SN9. SpaceX is doing it today. I, I'm 95% confident we will see this today. If you stick through the whole episode, you're going to understand why I think that. You're going to understand what's going on with the FAA and SpaceX, and also a little bit of news regarding a possible commercial-only flight SpaceX is doing towards the end of the year. So if you want to know all about that, stick through the whole episode, but let's get into right now. SN9, there are currently live streams of the SN9 at its little launch pad in the Boca Tica area. I'm not going to be live streaming this. I'm not going to rip off someone else's live stream. I know like Everyday Astronaut, for example, he's live streaming that. They pay thousands of dollars for their equipment and the employees. I'm not going to sit here and rip off what they're working on. I'm just going to give you the news from what's on Twitter and other news sources like that and kind of compress it for you. I'm not here to take someone else's work like that. So if you want to watch a live stream of the event, I highly recommend watching Everyday Astronaut. He has a great camera set up. There's also a NASA space flight, Lab Padre, things like that. Check them all out. Let's get into what we know from Twitter, though. So the area of Boca Chica, that village, has been asked to evacuate. The residents have had to leave. So that's one giant indicator that a launch will be happening. Only time that residents have to physically leave their house, and it's not just a road closure, is when they're doing an actual launch because if it crashes and lands like last time, or doesn't land, I should say, if it crashes, they don't want anybody getting blown up. Now, regarding the FAA, this is coming from Christian Davenport, and a lot of people, I hope I pronounced that right, a lot of people have been announcing about this, that the FAA has actually granted SpaceX its launch license for the SN9, and we have some kind of unfortunate news about SpaceX regarding why it took so long for the FAA to do this. People thought it had to do with administrations, government politics, yada, yada. And I I kind of did agree with this. I did think that there was some, you know, back-end stuff going on. The FAA definitely is not up to par with where it should be in terms of how many flights that SpaceX, and not just SpaceX, other companies are doing now. However, what they failed to mention is that when the SN8 launched, they have to meet a certain safety protocol. And the safety protocol is that in order for them to get that license that they needed, there needs to be less than a one in a million chance that somebody could be harmed in that testing, right? SpaceX applied to actually have a license that would require the difference that there's more of a chance that one in a million that somebody could get hurt. It's more likely somebody could get hurt. The FAA denied that and SpaceX still went ahead with the launch. That is the reason why they had to probe the investigation. So SpaceX is actually in the wrong here. They're the ones that did not comply with what they were supposed to do. It wasn't because Biden or, you know, because Biden took uh, all the administration votes, he took all the ballots, summoned everything he could from the bottom of his old like nutsack and brought, what were they saying, the lizard people here? That, that's not the reason. SpaceX, they went, they went too far out of the boundary this time. And, you know, I understand that they have to, they have to test the waters. They really, they're crunched on time and stuff like that, but you got to play by the rules. And even though the rules are slow and they're, they're slowly getting better. You still have to play by the rules if you want to compete in that industry, if you want to actually have a sustainable business. But besides that, we now know, okay, the area is clear. The FA has granted the license they need. They've done the investigation. Things should be set to go. Let's look at the weather. Weather in that area, this is just a simple, you know, Google search of the weather. But winds, 8 miles an hour. Sunny. There is no reason Weather-wise, that we cannot see this. Unless at the higher altitudes, maybe there's a a wind difference. I highly doubt that, though. I think from a normal standpoint, this is exactly what SpaceX wants. This is pretty much a perfect weather condition um, at sea level anyways. But doing the 12-kilometer flight, or 10 actually. And so, again, I don't think weather should be a problem at all. Another thing I have to talk about is Elon Musk. He said he is off Twitter for a while. This is... I can understand exactly why this is. Think about what's been going on with Elon Musk. He's been pumping the GameStop stock. He was talking about how the FAA is flawed. I think he's getting a lot of backlash. This might be more uh, Biden administration or whoever, you know, um, conspiracy type stuff, that he he has a lot of control on Twitter. It's pretty crazy. This guy can tweet out a single thing, and it can change the stock market. It can change banking systems like how it did with the whole shorting of 
the GameStop stock and BlackBerry and things like that. Dogecoin, he's pumped Dogecoin multiple times. I think he just recently said something about cryptocurrency and that pumped up the price of Bitcoin. So this guy has a lot of sway on Twitter and apparently he's off Twitter for a while, which sucks because we did get a lot of good, I wouldn't say a lot, but whenever he tweeted anything about SpaceX or Tesla, or anything like that, you knew it was most likely legit because he really barely ever gave any info regarding what they're going to do. SpaceX, they don't tell you what's happening until the day it really happens, or at least the day before. So I don't think we're going to see any announcements from Elon Musk coming about the SN9 or SN10 or anything like that. If that's all you guys want to know regarding the SN9 launches and what's going on today, that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to click the like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But if you want to hear more about what SpaceX is doing at the end of this year, let's get into that. So SpaceX, this guy right here. Him and three others are going in the first ever all commercial launch. Now they were gonna be there was gonna be another one in 2021, I believe. That was gonna be the first one. Apparently, this is the first one of a only commercial flight. Now that guy is Jarek Eisenman. He's the founder and CEO of Shift for Payments, which it's like a fintech company for entrepreneurs, businesses, things like that. The normal everyday average guy person really wouldn't use this stuff, but it's a multi-billion dollar company. This guy is a billionaire. The purpose of this space flight is not just rich guys flying around in space. In fact, three of the people he's bringing with him, there's only going to be four in total, he's going to be the commander. The other three, one is going to be a random healthcare worker from St. Jude's Hospital. One is going to be a random donor of St. Jude's Foundation. And the third is going to be an entrepreneur or businessman that uses the shift for payment processing systems. The whole purpose of this is he's looking to raise about $200 million dollars for the St. Jude Hospital, as well as bring awareness and proof that anybody can go into space flight. If this guy can, with, like I said, a healthcare worker who has no astronaut experience, a businessman who has no astronaut experience, and a person who, from the public that donates, you who are listening right now could possibly end up on the space flight if you donate to the cause and you register for it, yada, yada. You could fly in space. Elon Musk has said that in order to get on this flight in terms of physical conditions, you would pretty much just need to be able to handle a large roller coaster. It's going to be intense, obviously, the gravity effect. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. But in terms of your, I, I guess you would say your technical abilities, they don't need to be there. SpaceX has enough ground control. They have enough simple systems in place where if anything goes wrong, there's limited things that would go wrong, but it would be easy to fix. This guy's a commander. He flies like flight um jets and things like that so i'm sure he's confident and a lot of the technical side of the things they're going to be orbiting earth they haven't really given too much information regarding a specific date and again like i said they haven't announced any of who will be going because you can still register to do this if you donate to the saint jude's hospital you can end up on this flight I think it's great to see that he's not, it's not just going to be a bunch of rich people. It's three everyday people can end up on this flight. And I hope it doesn't go the way that the last time it was going to be regular everyday people on space flight. We all know what that was. And I hope we don't see that again. I think SpaceX, I'm confident in their systems, their abilities to safely do this and to bring a lot more awareness. And the fact that space, space is here. Like it's not it's not a uh, dream anymore. Like we are we are here, especially after today. If the SN nine lands, there's no there's no I wouldn't say no going back, but it's it's time. Human evolution is coming. We are going to the moon. We are going to Mars. Space flight will be an everyday thing. This is just one more step forward. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. If you want more of this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I just broke a 1,000. I want to thank you guys again for all the support. I love hearing all the positive feedback. And if you have any more positive feedback or anything, comments, questions, you want to insult me, you want to play jokes, I don't care what you want to say, say it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. You know what to do. And also, have a good one. And be sure, if you can, watch the live stream on the other channels of this event. This is going to be a very big event. I'm going to be personally watching live streams a little bit later on. I think around like 2 or 3 o'clock is when we might see more activity on the launch pad. Either way, have a good one.